fan. I just know that they shoot good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're barreled, so they're thicker in the middle and they're thinner on the ends to help with the wind and just overall accuracy. And there's different stiffnesses. Each arrow has a different stiffness, but even in the arrow themselves, the center is stiffer than the outsides. And, you know, that's built for fingers and releases. So and they're quite complicated, but they all work good. So. Well, we're getting ready, as you can tell from the reaction of the crowd for the gold medal match between Team USA and Canada. Braden Gelantine, Logan Wild, and Rio Wild to shoot for Team USA. And for the Canadians, it'll be Christopher Perkins, a world champion. Simon Rousseau and Dietmar Trillis for the Canadians. Trillis in the middle. Rousseau on the right and Christopher Perkins on the left. And there's a good look at their coach looking through that monocular. And this should be a good match. You have Dietmar Trills, who was the 2007 world champion. And then Chris Perkins is the current world champion. Just on, won that world championship last month in Torino. Yeah, and uh, you have Real Wild, who won in 2009. And Brain's been on the medal stand. And Logan's one of our top shooters in the U.S. too. So... This should be a good match. USA has the world record at 239, only dropping one point off of a perfect score. USA re uh, reaches this gold medal match by defeating Mexico by 10 and Iran by just two. Now this is Rio Wild from Pocatello, Idaho. And Rio with the first shot of the match. Trying to get Team USA off to a good start. And you'll see a lot of energy. Everyone wants it here on home soil. So this should be a good match. Well, he's wearing that North Carolina Tar Heels hat, but he's from Pocatello as well. This is Logan Wild. And yeah. Logan matching his brother. Braden up to shoot now, and uh, they call him Mr. 120. He has uh, had the world record for the 12-arrow match, but they don't shoot that anymore. So. You can't get off to any better start than that. No, USA wants it bad. And Laying down three X's like that, that's a good start. But Canada has a strong team too, so I wouldn't be too awful surprised if they matched it. This is Rousseau, Nine who does Nine not match. So it's up to Trillis, Dietmar Trillis, 53 years old, makes cabinets when he's not out there on the range shooting his bow and arrow. Ten. And there's a 10. Nice shot, Dean. That's where the experience pays oh. off. He settles down after the first shot by Rousseau was off the mark. Nice and here's Christopher Perkins, the current world champion. Picked up that title last month over in Italy. And a nine. So, so two USA nines and a 10. And USA has a two point lead after the first three arrows. And if USA comes out here shooting like this, that might be hard to make up already. Rio, a member of the gold medal team for Team USA in Torino last month. A lot of experience, 16 years of experience. So a nine for Rio Wild. Now Logan Wild, who's 33 years old. Works as a sales manager up in the Pocatello, Idaho area, which is just about an hour and a half north here in Ogden, Utah, and an uncharacteristic, an eight. It is. I I'm surprised to see that from uh, Logan, but see Braden steps up here and shoots a 10 and keeps him in it, and he does. Braden with a great shot right there, getting high fives from his teammates. And... USA kind of opened the door there for Canada to take the lead after the next three arrows. Team USA finishing the first end with 57 points, but a nine, a nine right there. So two tenths from Canada would keep the tie, would make a tied score. We may see another shootout like we saw in the bronze medal match between Iran and France. Trillis. With a 10. With a 10. Good shooting by Dietmar. Trillis made it to last year's World Cup Finals in Edinburgh, finished seventh over there. And now Perkins. With the nine, so USA comes out with a one-point lead after the first six. 
So Canada not able to take advantage of that opportunity that Team USA presented with the final three arrows that they shot in that opening end. As you hear the chant of USA go up here in Ogden, Utah. And what's going through their minds right now? Um, right now I guarantee that they're very mad that they just dropped that many points on the first end. You know, it's our compound team in the U.S. is very strong. Probably one of the strongest teams there is and just they all go out there expecting not to miss and you know when they do they get a little bit mad so but you know everything happens once in a while they're aiming at a target that last night I compared it to the size well what you're shooting at is a the size of a DVD disc maybe or a CD disc yeah. this is even smaller isn't it that 10 ring yeah this is um their 10 ring is just a little bit bigger than our X ring is. Okay. So they're shooting at a lot smaller target than we are. Shorter distance, but a smaller target. Yeah. And who's that good looking Canadian there in the lower left hand part of the screen? I believe that's Crispin Duenas. Yeah, and uh, he was announcing with you last night. Worked with us last night, and we thank him. He's a spectator tonight. And cheering on his countryman, Simon Rousseau. Nice. There's a 10. Nice, so Rousseau Good starting job. to get the field for things here. Warm up to the task. One point difference between these two teams after the first end. Team USA up by one, but the Canadians charging back now with a couple of 10s. Deepmar shoots three in a row. He has the most experience on the team and Brings a lot to a team with a couple of young shooters like that for him to just step up there and shoot 10 after 10 after 10. It takes a little bit of pressure off of them. Trillis won a silver medal with the Canadian team in Ogden last year, and there is a, appears to be a nine. Come on, bud. And they post it as a nine, so 29 points on the first three arrows for Team Canada. Rio Wild hoping to answer. And there's a 10. There's your answer. Yep. Now Logan Wild. And there's another 10. Another 10. So tell you what, USA is looking to just keep shooting a bunch of 10s here and hopefully pull away. Like I said earlier, they're probably a little mad about their first 10. Braden who held up his end of the bargain in that first end and she continues to hold it up. Braden shooting very good right now. And uh, I do believe he's in the individual gold medal match later on tonight. He is. That'll be coming up shortly here on ESPN3. Live coverage of the 2011 Archery World Cup's nice. third stage and there for Rousseau is another 10. Canada so. keeping it close. We go back and forth. That time a nine for Trillis. Trillis, a world champion back in 2007. Here's the current world champion, Christopher Perkins. There we and another 10. 10. There we go. We found it now. So there is four 10s in this Take second end shot by the Canadians who now have a total of 114 Take points. They pick up 58 out of a possible 60 here in this end. The Team USA trying to pick up 60 points. Get them all. And there's four in a row. Four tens in a row. Now Rio has the world record for this round an individual. He has a perfect 150 with 10 X's. So, um, and he also has the ranking round world record. So, and the team round world record. Yep. And nerves of steel, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his little brother there is following him up and shooting another 10. And Those wild boys coming out strong here in the second end. And of course, Braden's been strong from the get go. And yep. there it, it is, perfect perfect 60. Nobody does it better 
Six tens in the second round, and the crowd loving it here at Lindquist Field in Ogden, Utah, on a gorgeous Saturday night. If you ever have an opportunity to come out and watch archery at this level, make sure you don't miss the opportunity. You're seeing the best in the world, and in fact, we're seeing a lot of people, yourself included, who'll be in London next year. Yeah, uh, a lot of the people here will be competing at London, and um, we just have world championships, you know, like mm -hmm. we've been talking about about a month ago, and we a lot of teams qualified their Olympic spots there. And uh, next year, this tournament's going to be very, very important because next year here in Ogden will be the last chance for anyone to qualify the rest of their Olympic spots. So next year should be a big showing, and there should be a bunch of teams, and it's going to be important because everyone's going to be trying Let's to get in the, into the Olympics. So even more significance next year with the Olympics just a month away yep. uh, when this World Cup Tour comes to town again. Well, at the midway point, it's a three-point margin for Team USA, 117 to 114. Team USA with a 57 in the first end and a perfect 60 in the second. And now Simon Rousseau nice. on the ten. line. Nice. Yep. So both teams want this medal bad, as we can see. And Canada knows that they're going to have to shoot really well and keep shooting tens and be perfect here and just hope that the U.S. makes a mistake or two and so they can get back in it. All you can do is take care of your own business. Yep. And a little bit low and to the left for Trillis results in a nine. So it's up to Christopher Perkins. As you take a look at his bow, the compound bow. There we go. And there's a 10. Nice one. There we go. Nice so two nice tens job. and a nine. Nice one. Way to go. Although in a match this close, you almost can't afford anything less than a 10 from here on out, can you? It is, and especially, it, I mean, these compound men shoot so well, and it is really a game of perfection now. There you, there you go. Rio's wild about that shot, as well he should be. Now well, let's see what little brother can do. Yep. And there's an X. Shoots it like a tar heel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Brain, who has not missed yet in this match, stepping up, hoping to shoot another 30 for the U.S. There it is. I was afraid you might jinx him by saying that, but no, nah, not Braden. Braden shooting good, and you know his confidence is up a lot, and he's shooting really good this week. So, well, right now Team USA is rolling. Going back to the first end, Team USA has now shot, I believe, eight straight tens. And there's a nine for the Canadians. See the U.S. picked up another point in that first three arrows, shooting ten tens ten in tens. a row. It's actually ten tens. You're right. And Deepmar comes back strong there after his two nines and shoots an X. So it's up to Christopher Perkins now to try to keep Canada's hopes alive. A ten here will give them 58 for this nice end. Job. Which Out is still a possible very good 60, shooting. Yeah. Way to go. You're only dropping two points. That's good. But since the end of the first end, Team USA has been nearly flawless. Actually has been flawless. And there's a nine. I jinxed him. <laughs> <laughs> so Rio with a nine and Logan. He'll be sleeping in his own bed tonight. That'll be nice. Take him about an hour and a half to get yeah. home. Logan shoots at 10. Picks it up for his brother. So Brandon's going to try to shoot 10 here, so they pick up one more point going into the last end. And personally remain perfect oh. himself, which yep. he does. There you go. So it looks like USA now has a four-point lead. 
Old Deadeye Braden Gelantine, who we'll see in the men's finals tonight, the gold medal match against Roger Willett Jr. That'll be a great showdown. It will. Roger's trying to make three World Cups in a row, and uh, Braden's looking for his first win of the season. And they're both wanting it bad, and it's also a big night for uh, trying to get into the World Cup final. You know, Rio and Braden are both in the hunt, and uh, I think Rio has Braden by like five or seven points, and at the end of the night, it's only going to be a couple, so both matches for both those guys tonight are going to be really important on that, and then that, uh, when we go to China for the next World Cup stage, it's going to be a battle between those two to see who gets to go because we're only allowed two spots per country for the World Cup final. That voice you're listening to is the voice of Brady Ellison, who picked up three gold medals last night in the recurve competition. And obviously, you've already got your ticket punched for the World Cup finals in Istanbul. The question is, will you go to Shanghai and try to make it four gold medals on the four stages this year on the World Cup? Yeah, I am going to uh, China this year. I'm going to try to be greedy. <laughs> and, uh, um, Nothing I, wrong with that. Yeah, no, I told everyone if I came here and won that I would try to go to Shanghai and Get a sweep there. Simon Roussel with a good start go, for Simon. Team Canada. And they know they have to be perfect to, to send. Canada really needs to shoot a 60 this end to have a shot at. Team Canada trailing by four points after the third end. Now in the there's fourth and final end, there's another 10. Great grouping by those two. No quitting the Canadians. Nope or any of the competitors that I've watched out here over the last 24 hours or so. No, no, never say never in this sport. Oh, okay. nine. A nine right there though for Perkins. So 29 out of a possible 30 points on those three arrows and now it's back to target number one and Team USA and Rio Wild who had a nine yep. in the there third end, but now in the fourth end gets it started with a 10. Yep, you know, and USA is feeling pretty comfortable right now, I'd imagine. They got a four point lead before the first three arrows and they have a possible five point lead with three arrows left. And in a situation like this, they know that they're probably gonna win the medal. Nine, just nine for Logan. Shooting just high. Logan was probably going to make his brother buy dinner. <laughs> but now they both shot a nine. Uh, they may have to go Dutch. And Braden, you could see him in that one or you could hear him. It's just he wasn't quite happy with that, but he squeaked it in there. So a 10, a nine, and a nine with an asterisk. And another nine. Canada cannot afford that at this point. Even with two tens, I, I do believe that the U.S. is going to pick up that that nine that's with the asterisk, and it'll be a 29 to a 29 on the first three. Dietmar shoots a 10 there, which is good. The old pro finding the center of the target and down to the last arrow. With tons of time left on the clock. Perkins taking his time. And shoots a nine. Can you wait too long sometimes? Um, sometimes the compounders generally seem to aim a little bit more than recurve. They, they don't have quite as much poundage. They have let off when they come down. So they might be pulling 60 pounds but they're only holding 17, 18. So they tend to aim a little bit more. And Rio shoots another nine which is a little bit uncharacteristic of him to drop this many points, but his teammates are shooting really well, so. Team USA needing just 17 points on these last two arrows. Yep, got They get a 10 right there. And Braden now just needs to hit red or better. Which, from seven tens in a row, shouldn't be too hard for him. At least yep. a seven, There's but we'll take a ten. Take it to the house. Good there you go. By USA. Team USA, which at one point in this match had ten consecutive tens 
And that really turned the trick for Team USA as they win the gold medal in this match with Canada in the men's team competition. Yep, and that was a great match. You could see USA got rolling there, and Canada just missed one or two, and that's all it takes in this game. I mean, all these compound guys, like I was saying earlier, they shoot so good that if you miss a couple, you're out of it. Team USA shooting so well that once Canada fell behind, they couldn't really get back in. They kept that door shut. Both teams shooting a 57 score in that fourth end. But it was the second end when Team USA picked up two points and then added another point to the lead in the third end. And they're able to win this one by the final score of 233 to 229, a four point advantage for Team USA as the United States picks up its second gold medal of the night and the sixth of this third stage of the 2011 Archery World Cup. Not a bad showing, but that's what we were hoping for when you guys came home. Yeah, I mean, it's we've been shooting good all year, and last year we had the we got the Nations Award for the World Cup, the nation that had the most World Cup points and the most medals.